and welcome back to Let's Play Riven. We're currently inside the giant golden dome that Gen built on this island uh, here. We don't know what purpose this dome uh, uh, serves, and we won't be finding out anytime soon. But let's explore it for the time being. Let's go down this walkway. What could this stuff in the middle be for? We go outside here. And from here, actually, we can see another island. What island could that be? Apparently it's connected by a walkway, but we can't get there yet. Over here is another steam vent. Riven is apparently highly volcanic, what with all these steam vents. And it seems that this, uh, this valve operates a bridge of some sort, according to this icon. And if I have to guess, it's probably this bridge over here. Now let's turn it on. Well, nothing happened, but anyway, let's continue. Here we find what looks like a sort of uh, elevator thing. And if we look up, you see that the path up there is uh, broken. So apparently the elevator is down, but there's nothing we can do. There's no button. So let's just continue into this cave. And it leads to another valve with another s uh, bridge symbol. This seems to lead to this bridge. Oh, well, let's uh, throw the switch. And there goes the bridge. Not a lot of people know that you can actually see the bridge rise from this angle. What you need to do to see it is uh, turn that switch uh, after the bridge which we saw when coming into the dome. If you haven't done that, the bridge will stay down when you're here. Okay, well this is a dead end, so let's go back. Doesn't appear to be anywhere else we can go from here. And the bridge is raised, so we can't get out. Well, Maybe raising the bridge is useful at some point later in the game. Right now we don't have another way out of the dome, so we're going to need to have this bridge lowered. Just look at that attention to detail with the swinging when it came down. One thing you should note here is that if you're looking at the dome, there appears to be an upper level here, so if the bridge is raised, it might be possible to get onto that upper level. But in order to do that, we do need to have an alternative way to get out of the uh, dome, which currently we don't have. So that's all we can do with the dome for now. So now we can go this way. From here we can also get a nice view of this huge dome. Gen is many things, he's definitely not a minimalist from the way he builds things. Again we go into some cave and let's see what's behind this door. It's a chair. a cage around it which opens up automatically as we approach it. Let's sit in the chair. Okay, this button closes the cage. Well, this lever appears to do something, but exactly what is not that clear. It doesn't seem that we can actually do anything with this. 
Okay, there's two viewers here. One shows the inside of what appears to be a toll. There's a lever here, so let's throw that. And it opens a door, which is good. Doors are always better open than closed. Especially in adventure games. The second viewer shows us, well, it's not really clear what this is. Maybe we'll see it later. Hear the cage being closed behind us again. No, I don't want to go that way, I want to go this way. And another door, so let's see what's behind door number two, Alex. This is a temple. More sign, more proof that Gan considers himself a god. This temple here is to worship him. The room we saw earlier with the chair is actually a transmitter. When Gan sits in that chair, he can project his head here and speak to the people in the temple. It must seem very imposing. It's again symbol behind it with the sun behind it. It's really impressive sight. To the sides we see these things. Let's see if I can get a better look of them. I think this is the best look, best angle we can get. Uh, these things are giant fish, basically. They're called warks. One of the ways that Gen uses to keep the Rivenese people under control is with these uh, fish. They're predatory fish, sort of like sharks, I guess. They uh, eat people and Gen uses them as uh, punishment. They're generally feared and revered by the Rivenese people. You can see here that the Rivenese people offer fruit and flowers to these statues of the Wark. On the other side we see the same thing. Well, this was the door we just opened from the chair room. And here we see the thing we could just see from the second viewer in the chair room. It appears to be a, a station, like a train station or something. But there's no train. You can see that this uh, uses these cables we saw earlier. Well, let's push the button. Now, I don't know how visible this will be in the recorded video, but you can actually see the car coming in the background. And shortly it will arrive here. Originally, the islands of Riven were connected by uh, by bridges, but as the islands kept drifting apart, this was very uh, cumbersome and maintenance intensive. So again, built these maglev cars. The idea here is that these cables can stretch and can therefore adjust when the islands drift further apart and only need to be replaced when they reach their maximum length. So. Let's take the train. I love public transportation. And let's go. Now, if you play this game for real without knowing what you need to do without a solution or a hint guide or whatever, then you'll be taking these things a lot, going from island to island. Quite frankly, you'll be seeing this motion in your dreams. I know I did, the time I played this game. Because I'm following pretty much the optimal path through the game, the, uh, we won't be taking them that much, actually. And that takes us to the second island which we will explore next time. See you then.